Hey, you. Yeah, you. By the buffet table. In the stunning outfit. Listen, um, I'm really sorry to bother you, but any chance you could sneak me a couple of those canopies? I'm over here. No, no, not there. Here, behind the curtain. Wait, no, not that one. The left curtain. Or, no, wait, you're facing me. So I guess for you, it'd be the right one? Ugh, hang on. Let me just... Okay, there. See my hand waving? Shh, I'm hiding. What does it look like? No, no, I'm not an assassin, I swear. I just, uh, I just needed a break. Shh, please, not so loud. If mom finds out I'm hiding back here, instead of smooching with the guests, well, it won't be pretty, let's put it that way. You do? Is your mom a force to be reckoned with too? Then I guess you know what it's like. <sighs> Mothers. Why do they always say it's for her own good, when really, it's for theirs? Huh? What kind of canopies do I like? Are you serious? Oh, um, could you give me some of the smoked salmon ones? And maybe some of the goat cheese and pesto too, if there are any left. Oh, by the great fairy, thank you. You're a lifesaver, I swear. If my stomach was growing any louder, it would have given me away. Either that, or the guests might have think there was a bear in the ballroom. Mmm, so good. You've tried almost all of them, haven't you? Which was your favorite? Oh, uh, I, I don't know. I've been back here for a while. I'd peek out from time to time, you know, trying to make sure Mom was in nearby. And every time I'd, I'd see you. Most guests just have a nibble here and there. They're too afraid to get food on their fancy schmancy outfits. But you were just going to town on those platters. Not that that's a bad thing, mind you. I was really impressed at how you demolished half that plate of spinach puffs. Uh, yeah, I, I guess I was technically watching you. Or spying on you. Or something like that. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to be creepy. I just, I just can't help but notice you. Well, yeah, your outfit is exquisite. I've never seen anything quite like it. But more than that, you seem different from everyone else here. Most of the guests are just here in the hopes of becoming royalty. They say the whole purpose of this ball is so that the prince can choose his partner. But I don't think I've ever saw you in the receiving line. Are you interested in meeting the prince? You're just happy to get out of the house. Do you not get out much? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to pry. You're not supposed to be here, but why not? Everyone in the kingdom was invited. What? Why would your stepmother not want you to come? She prefers your stepsisters to you? That's awful. I'm so sorry. Oh, uh, yeah, right, of course. How, how could you sweep the prince off his feet if you haven't, uh, if you haven't met him yet? <clears throat> wow, you're braver than me. Man, now I feel like a total coward. Here I am, hiding from everyone behind a curtain, when you risked everything just to come here. I guess I should remember not everyone has the privilege of attending fancy parties like these all the time. Still, you shouldn't have to sneak out just to have some fun. Everyone deserves an enjoyable night every now and then. No, no, I don't mind at all. Everyone needs someone to talk to. Besides, I'm glad to get to know you a little better. You're even more amazing than I thought. Would you... Um, it's just an idea and it might be a stupid one. I don't know. Feel free to say no if you want to, but I just thought... Would you maybe like to dance? Yeah, dance. Well, yeah. I guess I would have to leave the safety of my curtain. But it's worth it for you. Don't worry about mom. 
She'll just be happy to see me being social for once, so I doubt she'll interrupt. Dancing would require us to ban in the canopies, though, so that might be a deal breaker. You will? I mean, you'd like to? Okay, um, hang on. Let me just... Whew, that's better. I won't lie, it was getting pretty stuffy back there. Now, let me do this properly. May I have the pleasure? Oh, don't worry. I'm sure you'll be great. It doesn't have to be fancy. It's mostly just spinning in place. You just take my hand like this. I put my arm around your waist. Is that okay? Yes? Okay. And ready? One, two, three. One, two, three. And that's it. <laughs> Don't worry. My feet have already been stepped on more times than I can count tonight. I'm sure one or two more times wouldn't make a difference. Your shoes are made of glass? Are you serious? But what if they break? Won't you catch your feet? What? They're magic? Well, okay, if you say so. I'm glad your godmother has some magic up her sleeve. Man. You just keep right on surprising me. I hope it never stops. Hmm? Oh, well. Can you really blame me for staring? I mean, have you seen yourself? You look stunning. And I'm not just talking about your outfit. You could wear rags and still be the most radiant person in the kingdom. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I say something wrong? Huh? Oh, uh, yeah. I guess we are the only ones out here on the dance floor. Um, well, to be honest, it's probably because of me. It's the first time all night I've danced with anyone. They're probably wondering who finally managed to coax the prince out of his shell. Yeah, that's exactly what you're thinking. I wish you were kidding, but no. Prince Sanguin. At your service. What a way to meet your sovereign, huh? Oof. I guess I deserve that. I'm sorry. I know I should have told you earlier, I just... I mean... I know there's not really an excuse, but... I just didn't want to ruin it, you know? This whole ball was mom's idea. Yes, my mom is the queen. She's desperate to see me married off. This is our third ball this year. Every time, it's always the same thing. Hours of being stuck in a receiving line, greeting endless throngs of simpering guests, all falling over themselves to seduce me. They couldn't care less about what I'm like as a person. All they care about is getting a shot at the throne. To be honest, I'm sick of it. Hence the whole hiding behind the curtain thing. If I had to kiss one more gloved hand, or look at one more pair of fluttering eyelashes, I was going to scream, but then, then I saw you. You couldn't have cared less about that stuff. Instead, you were stuffing your face with spinach puffs and crostini. You actually went along with my crazy request to pass me some food behind the curtain. I couldn't believe it. You were so genuine. And the more we talked, the more I realized that you're not just kind and beautiful, but also brave and smart, and funny. And I was just afraid that I'd ruin it if I told you that I was the prince. I was afraid that you'd suddenly revert to one of those simpering fools, and I'd lose this amazing person that I found. I'm sorry. Wait, you understand? Really? Am I forgiven then? Thanks. Man. What did I do to deserve meeting you? Wait, no, oh no, shoot. This is... I can't believe myself. I can't remember your name. Wait, did I forget to ask? Have I seriously been talking to you all this time and didn't ask for your name? By the great fairy. I've got to be the biggest idiot the kingdom has ever seen. I'm so sorry. Would you tell me now? I promise. I'll remember it. 
no matter what. I'll write it down on the cuff of my sleeve if I have to. Oh, wow. Midnight already? I didn't even... What's wrong? Wait, what? Why? Why do you have to... Wait, no, wait. I don't know your name yet. Please wait. No, no. Where'd they go? <sighs> okay, okay. Calm down. Think. What do you know? Um, they live with their stepfamily? A mother and sisters? Yeah. Um, they really love spinach puffs. And, um, oh, come on. I can't be everything. What else? Huh? What the? Their shoe. Yes. This'll help, right? I mean, how many people in the kingdom can possibly own glass shoes? Maybe the cobblers in town would know something. No, wait. Their godmother gave it to them, right? So that might not work. Then... Do I just go around asking everyone if they own glass shoes? But, no. Everyone will just say yes because they want me to think they're my one and only. No, no, calm down. That's okay. You'll find them. Even if you have to try the shoe on every person in the kingdom. Wait, that's it? The shoes are magic. They said so. I bet in anything it'll only fit them. That's how magic works, right? If I just try it on every person in the kingdom, I'm bound to find them eventually. By the Great Fairy. This has got to be the craziest plan I've ever come up with. I can't believe I'm doing this, but... For them, it'll be worth it. Whoever you are, I know you can't hear me, but... Thank you for an amazing evening. I just want you to know... I won't give up. I promise. I'll find you. No matter what it takes.